Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell para ma-notify ka sa mga bagong video tutorials ko. Welcome to another episode of Business Math Tutorials for ABM Senior High School Students. This is your teacher, Ma'am Salgado. So here are the answers to the practice set from the previous video. Please check how did you do. Okay, great job in getting the correct answer. For today's lesson, we will be discussing problem solving involving fraction, decimal, and percentages. The learning competency for today is give real-life situations to illustrate fractions, decimals, and percent. Solve problems involving fractions, decimals, and percent. The objective of the lesson for today is at the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to apply rules involving fraction decimal, and percent to solve real-life situation problems. How do we solve problems involving fractions, decimals, and percentages? To solve problems, the problem can be translated into mathematical equation, then perform the indicated operations involved. For example, we have the plan of a garden as shown on the picture. The garden has an area of 400 meters squared. The lawn is 30% of the garden. Calculate the area of the lawn. A pond in the garden has an area of 18 meters squared. What percentage of the garden is taken up by the pond? Solution. To calculate the area of the lawn, multiply 0 0.30 to the area of the garden. So note, we have 30% is equivalent to 0 0.30 or 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 multiplied by 400 meters squared, which is the total area of the garden earlier. So we will have 120 meters squared. So the area of the lawn is 120 meters squared. So to calculate the percentage of the garden taken up by the pond, divide the area of the pond by the area of the garden, then multiply by 100%. So we have 80 meters squared divided by 400 meters squared times 100%. So that will be 20%. So the pond takes up 20% of the garden. Example number two. If you purchase a cell phone and pay 5,000 down payment, 
and 35% of the down payment per month for 8 months. What was the purchase price of the cell phone? Solution To calculate the monthly payment, which is 35% of the down payment, convert the 35% to decimal, then multiply to the down payment amount of 5,000. So we have 0 0.35 times 5,000 pesos. That would be 1,750 pesos per month. So the monthly payment is 1,750 pesos. To calculate the purchase price of the cell phone, just multiply the monthly payment of 1,750 by 8 months, then add the down payment. So we have 8 months times 1,750 pesos per month plus 5,000 pesos. So we will have 19,000 pesos. So the purchase price of the cell phone is 19,000 pesos. I hope we are clear on the examples given. Now, it's your turn to practice. Problem number one. The class sold a total of 415 cupcakes. Each cupcake cost 8 pesos. The class donated 70% of the money to the library. How much is the total sale of the class and how much money was donated? Problem number 2. Natasha invests 2,000 pesos in a building society account. At the end of the year, she received 1 over 20 of her investment as an interest. How much interest would she receive at the end of the year? If the interest is increased by 0.1% every year, how much is the total interest after 3 years? Okay, that's it for today. I will give the answer on the next video. Before we end today's video, here is another thought to ponder. The mathematics may not teach us how to add love or minus hate, but it gives us every reason to hope that every problem has a solution. Thank you for today. See you in our next lesson. Bye!